Blood Falls is an outflow of an iron oxide tainted plume of salt water, flowing from the tongue of Taylor Glacier onto the ice covered surface of West Lake Bonnie in the Taylor Valley of the McMurdoch Dry Valleys in Victoria Land, East Antarctica. Iron rich hypersalin water sporadically emerges from small fissures in the ice cascades. The salt water source is a subglacial pool of unknown size overlain by about 400 meters. 1, feet of ice several kilometers from its tiny outlet at Blood Falls. The reddish deposit was found in 1911 by the Australian geologist Griffith Taylor, to first explore the valley that bears his name. The Antarctic pioneers first attributed the red color to red algae, but later it was proven to be due to iron oxides. Poorly soluble hydrospheric oxides are deposited at the surface of ice after the ferrous ions present in the unfrozen salt water are oxidized in contact with atmospheric oxygen. The more soluble ferrous ions initially are dissolved in old seawater trapped in an ancient pocket remaining from the Antarctic Ocean when a fjord was isolated by the glacier in its progression during the Miocene period, some five million years ago when the sea level was higher than today. Unlike most Antarctic glaciers, the Taylor Glacier is not frozen to the bedrock, probably, because of the presence of salts concentrated by the crystallization of the ancient seawater imprisoned below it. Salt cryoconcentration occurred in the deep relict seawater when pure ice crystallized and expelled its dissolved salts as it cooled down because of the heat exchange of the captive liquid seawater with the enormous ice mass of the glacier. As a consequence, the trapped seawater was concentrated in brines with a salinity two to three times that of the mean ocean water. A second mechanism sometimes also explaining the formation of hypersalin brines is the water evaporation of surface lakes directly exposed to the very dry polar atmosphere in the McMurdoch Dry Valleys. The analyses of stable isotopes of water allow, in principle, to distinguish between both processes as long as there is no mixing between differently formed brines. Hypersalin fluid, sampled fortuitously through a crack in the ice, was oxygen-free and rich in sulfate and ferrous ion. Sulfate is a remnant geochemical signature of marine conditions while soluble divalent iron likely was liberated under reducing conditions from the subglacial bedrock minerals weathered by microbial activity. Yeah.